Good morning, brethren. We are very thankful to the Lord for the privilege of being back together in the house of God. We thank him for his goodness and his mercies extended to each and every one of us. We are so thankful that God has brought us to another season of Advent where we celebrate the birth of the Christ child. I often tell people, don't come to me about when he was born or what date it was. I don't know the answer to that. But I know Jesus was born. And because of what he did over 2,000 years ago, I can stand before you today a free man. Thank God for salvation that only Jesus could bring. And he came to bring peace and goodwill towards all men. So as we sit and worship together this morning, let us forget about the outside. And we will concentrate our hearts and our mind on this wonderful Christ. Amen. That is available to us all, to the whosoever will. We pause to welcome those of you that are here with us this morning, Mr. and Mrs. Hydes. We're so thankful to have you with us this morning, and we trust the Lord will bless, each you, bless you both as we worship together with us. We also have Brother Linaki and his family with us, and Sister Tari from the Bay Island of Rotan. Brother Linaki is the current acting pastor of the church in Coxon Hall, and he's also Sister Etlin's grandson. So we're happy to have him with us this morning. At this time, we'll take our hymn books and we'll stand together. And we'll sing number 37. Sister KK is going to come and lead us, after which we will remain standing for the opening prayer, which will be led with Brother Ray. Let us all stand. Oh, come, holy Father, it is indeed a great privilege and a pleasure, Lord, yes. for this wonderful Lord's Day morning you've given us. You send rain, Lord, to water the earth. You send the sunshine to shine. Yes. You're such a wonderful, loving, caring God. We thank you for all gifts. Thank you for all things. 
but especially this time of year, Lord, as we, we thank you, Lord, for the best gift that humanity could ever have been given, and that was the birth, Lord, of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the plan of salvation. Lord, thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you, Lord, for your consideration, your kindness towards us, that even though, Lord, we don't deserve it, you still did it. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done. Lord, we ask you to be with us in a very unusual way this morning in this service, Lord. We ask, Lord, to have something that will be said and done. We already feel your sweet holy presence here already with us. Continue to meet with us. Continue to be with us. Amen. Be with our pastor, Lord, as you bring the message this morning. Help it to encourage us. Lord, help us to always be mindful, Lord, of you. Continue, Lord, keep your hands upon him. Lord, continue to keep your hands upon the whole entire congregation. Continue, Lord, to keep your hands upon this wonderful place we call home. Be with us in a very unusual way as we say thanks for all you've done and what you're going to continue to do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Please repeat with me, John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God so the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. At this time, we'll have a song by the Universal Gospel Singers. In a little town called Bethlehem, so many years ago, they told him there was no room in the inn. But they had no way of knowing who they had turned away, the Lamb of God who would take away their sins. I'm glad.
Yes, the hymn writer made it personal. I am glad I know who Jesus is. And I hear someone else say, what a friend. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank God we can know him this morning. Please turn to the extreme back of your hymnal to page 454. We will have our responsive reading number 11. And Sister Tasha Sue is going to lead us. Page 454, number 11. Good morning. Jesus is born. And he, she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of the great God, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign of And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace will toward men. And suddenly there was with the, oh, sorry, and it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath no, made known unto us. Here ends God's holy reading. Amen. At this time, we will take any spoken or unspoken requests that you would have, any pressing needs. Okay. Yes, Brother Norman Borden as well. Continued prayer for Brother Norman. Someone on the side have a prayer. Sorry? Sister Des Kelly, yes. Yes, Sheena's mom and her aunt as well. Amen. Oh, okay. Ms. Chastain Borden as well. So many people are sick, but we still serve a mighty God. Amen. Sister Shella? Amen. Amen. I'll, I'll, Brother Horace, yes. Okay. Okay. We'll invite you to stand to your feet once again and reverently bow your heads. We call on Sister Virginia Bodner. She'll come and lead us to the throne of grace. Let us pray. Dear precious Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for the privilege the of serving you and yes. loving you and being in service this morning. We thank you for your blessings. All these years, you have blessed us greatly. You have been with us. You have seen us through. We're so grateful and thankful that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus, his only son, to suffer and to die for us. We are so grateful, Lord, for that great sacrifice. Otherwise, we would be undone. We would be lost. So thank you, Lord, for your goodness and love and your mercy. Help us, Lord, to always be aware of your goodness and be grateful and thankful for your many blessings. Lord, we take the good blessings, and sometimes when we have hard ones, Lord, we have both good and bad. We thank you for everything. Because, Lord, 
You are always there with us, no matter if it's good or bad. You're there to see us through, and we're certainly grateful and thankful to you. Be in our service in a special way this morning. Bless Brother James, strengthen him, Lord. Give him the words to say this morning. Be with him and keep him in your care. Lord, he's not as young as he used to be. So give him the strength and the grace and the courage, Lord, to bring your word. Dear Lord, remember all the sick and the suffering one. Lord, we know how unpleasant it is to be sick and suffering. I never heard every one of the requests, but you heard it, Lord. You heard everyone, and you know everyone. Especially remember Sister Des in a special way this morning. Oh, Lord, comfort her heart. Bless her. Lift her up, Lord. Be with her. See her through in every way. Lord, I know she's trusting in you and she's leaning on you. So be with her and keep her. Remember, Sister Blossom, who can't get out now, comfort her and strengthen her too. Remember all the others that is sick and suffering. Brother Horace that lost his sister, comfort his heart, yes. strengthen him, help him to look to you because you're always there for us. You never leave us nor forsake us. So, Lord, whichever sick and suffering that I didn't name, you know everyone. Touch their bodies. Help them to put their trust in you. Heal and strengthen and bless. And, Lord, be with us in a special way. And remember, Lord, those in the hospital too. And thank you for all that you do for Amen. us. And Jesus, precious holy name, we ask these mercies. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We have a number of announcements, so please pay attention. There will be a Christmas program tonight at 7 p.m. here in the chapel. So we would like to extend a warm welcome to those and an invitation to those of you that are here. Please make plans to be back with us and invite your family members and friends and come and enjoy a wonderful Christmas program tonight at 7 p.m. And also at the uh, chapel in East End, there will be also be a Christmas program. This will be on Tuesday evening at 7.15 p.m. So those of us that are here, let's please bear that in mind. Tuesday evening, p.m., Christmas program in East End. And also next Saturday, there will be no prayer meeting here at the chapel. So next Saturday, there will be no prayer meeting here at the chapel. And also this coming Sunday, morning service will be our Christmas uh, morning service. And that will be at 11 p.m., 11 a.m., sorry will be our Christmas morning service this Sunday, the 24th of December. At this time, we'll take our hymnal and we'll sing one more congregational song, number 57. Sister Cake is going to come and lead us. Tell me the story of Jesus. Write on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Tell how the angel 
Praise the Lord. What a story. At this time, it is my happy privilege to call on our beloved pastor to bring to us what God has laid on his heart. Let us give him our full and undivided attention and support him in our prayers as he speaks to us. Brother James. I'm very thankful to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. And I see everyone that's here. Those that are visiting with us, that Brother Dwayne already mentioned. We are thankful that you're here with us, and we trust that you'll come back and be with us again. Praise the Lord. I would like to emphasize that the Christmas worship service will be next Sunday morning. We're not having any services on Christmas Day, the 25th. Our Christmas worship service will be on, on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. And um, since next Sunday is, or Christmas Sunday we call it, I will, be, I will not be speaking this morning about the birth of Jesus as such, but I'll be speaking a little about his adult life Amen. and his ministry and life on earth while he was here. Amen. Next Sunday, we'll speak about his miraculous birth and so on and so forth that goes with Christmas. What a, what a story. Amen. What a story. You can't exhaust that story. And I'm going to read... Um, from St. John, chapter 1. St. John, chapter 1, and from Acts, chapter 10. St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2, and verse 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And the word was made flesh Amen. and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And from the 38th verse of chapter 10 of Acts, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Amen. No wonder that blind hymn, writer Francis Crubber wrote that beautiful hymn. It's a beautiful hymn. Yes. We should sing that more often, not just Christmas and Easter. That's a beautiful song. Let me tell you, she said, tell me the story the Lord. of Jesus. Yes. Read on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. That's a sweet story to the Christian. Amen. It's a wonderful story. Um, I, I would like to encourage you and admonish you this morning to hold on to him. Yes. Hold on to God. And if you don't know him, you can have him. Yes. You can find him. Yes. He's your friend. Yes, he's your friend. Your, your, your friend. And... Um, the first Sunday of this month, I said it was a good time to give God thanks. Yes. Yes. Today is the third Sunday in the month, and it's still so. Yes. And the psalmist said, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? And it's not my intention to bring feelings emotional feelings in everybody's heart. But I told us the church here yesterday evening that when I hear and see what is happening in some parts of the world, the kind of Christmas that some people will have, it is unreal. Including little children and women as well as men. It is horrific. And I said in that service yesterday, I'm going to ask the Lord to help me not to complain again in life. Amen. Not to waste nothing. Praise the Lord. To do my best to excel yes. in living a good life, Amen. a Christian life. Yes. Let me tell you, if more people in the, wor in the world did that, it would be a better world. Yes, sir. Yes. It's nothing wrong with living for God. No. It's nothing wrong with Christianity. Amen. No, it's not, nothing wrong with Christianity. It's not my 
business to impose my beliefs on anyone but to be glad for it. And I, I, I say that to say this. We have beliefs. And these islands were founded on Christianity. It's up to us to live it up. And to magnify Christianity in this world that we're living in today. For a lot of things are excluding God out of it now. And even Jesus, and, you know, even Jesus. So I say that to say this. This is not the time for Church of God people to weaken down. Amen. Huh? The Lord. Amen. Not the time to weaken down. No, sir. And back off from God. Amen. No. One of the winning elements of witnessing is an unwavering commitment to God and the love we have for Him. That's right. I enjoyed this on a school lesson. Yes. You know? Yeah. I enjoyed this on school lesson. Whatever God gives you to do, do it. That's right. That's right. Do it with all your heart. Amen. Do it well. That's right. We're not serving people. Amen. We're serving God. Yeah. Why should I allow somebody else's life and what they're doing to, to, to pr prevent me from doing mine? Right. I'm not going to do that. Amen. I'm in this to the end. Amen. So let the realities of Christianity beam out Amen. throughout the Christmas season. Yes. It's a wonderful time. You know, and if, it would take a long time this morning to reminisce on Christmas in Cayman. I hear him talking things all about Christmas here and there and everywhere. I'm talking about Cayman. I knew about it. I knew about the old days in Cayman and what Christmas was. And it would take all morning this service to go over there. I don't want, want to do that this morning. But I enjoyed my childhood here Amen. And at Christmas time, and I still enjoy it. And by the grace of God, I plan to take Christmas very tranquil and very peaceful. And enjoy the fact that I'm still living. Yes, and I got so much to thank God for. Yes, Apart from the gift of Jesus Christ yes, into the world. Yes. I'm still living. Yes, thank God. So beside the, his outstanding role as the Savior. And the Redeemer of mankind. He lived on earth. Yes, for a short time. Yes, Jesus. Yes. And fulfilling the wider scope of ministry. He was more than just a savior of mankind. No, this was God come down to earth in human form. God come down to earth in human form. Yes, sir. He lived a caring, sharing, loving life. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There were, this was no ordinary man. Hmm? This was no ordinary man. That's right. He was conceived of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You imagine the story of Jesus? Yeah. You need to think more about it. The miraculous birth of Jesus. What a story it is. God uh, uh, chose a woman, a special woman, yes. to give birth to his son, Amen. Mary. She was highly favored. Amen. Yes, let me tell you that. She was highly favored. She was conceived of a Holy Ghost. Thank God. It never happened before, oh. and it's not going to happen again. Amen. I don't have any problem with believing this. Yes. I don't have any problem with believing this. I have people that tell me they don't believe in Jesus. Well, that's their business. I believe in Jesus. Amen. And I believe in God. Yes. If you don't believe in Jesus, how are you going to believe this Bible? Yes. And even as a young boy, Jesus confounded the, the learned men. Yes. Yeah? We are told, confounded the learned men. Amen. They couldn't understand him with all the wisdom and knowledge that he was speaking with. Yes. yes. Even as a young man, I believe he was around 12 years old. And some of the officers there said, never man spoke 
like this man. He spoke with authority. They were astonished at what he was saying. Read it when you go home. And then he spoke to the people in parables all through this New Testament. We see his parables there. Making it easy to understand. Yes, making it easy to understand. And he even shared his feelings with others. Do you know the Bible says that Jesus wept? Yes. Huh? Yes. Jesus wept. Jesus wept with, Ma with Mary and Martha because their, husband, their brother had passed on. Come on. And when Jesus therefore saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. That's St. John 11 and 33. And then verse 35, Jesus also wept. Two words, Jesus wept. The shortest verse in the Bible. He was God, he was divine, but he was human. And too many people in the world today are, are, are losing the human touch. Christians don't lose the human touch. We're all human beings. We must love one another. Respect one another. Amen. Have feelings for one another. Amen. Have compassion on one another. Amen. Thank the Lord. I yes, tell you when people's heart gets so hard that the Bible calls it seared with a hot iron. True. Nothing moves them. True. Hmm? True. Nothing moves them. Yes. yes, I was telling them yesterday evening about the unjust judge and the, and the widow. What she asked for didn't move him. He was unmoved. By her plight. Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. But because he didn't want her weary him and nagging him, he called it. Yes. He gave her what she wanted. Yes. But we're not going to worry about, about, about God yes. getting weary of us. Yes. No, he's glad to hear us right. and to do for us what we ask. Yes. yes. Above all, he loved. Amen. I am so glad that our Father in heaven Amen. tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful, Wonderful things in the story I see. This is the be most beautiful that Jesus loves me. Amen. When you think all is done, all is gone, God loves you. Amen. Whether other people love you or not. Right. We must not see the, the callousness Amen. in the world. Jesus was loving Amen. and gentle yes. and yes. caring. Yes. The Lord. Everything we can say Jesus was. That's right. The Bible says he was a good man. Yes. And yet there were so many that hated him yes. and opposed him right. and finally crucified him. Yes. The crowd, the master, the crowd crucified him. Give us Barabbas. Do away with him. Still, they're still doing it today. But thank God. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same, the same was in the beginning with God. Yes. And the word, that word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. What a privilege they, they had to have Jesus with them in, in person. What a privilege that was. Yeah. So he also cared. Yes. He cared about the souls of men. You heard what I said? He cared about the souls of men. Let me tell you, church, we got plenty to do. Mm. We got plenty to do. And if you look in the 13th chapter of Luke, you will see there also where Jesus said to them, 
Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet perish Amen. out of Jerusalem. Oh, Jesus took time for people. Yeah. What's happening to the world? What's happening to Cayman? What's happening to people? The world, people forgetting God and forsaking God. Hmm? Let me tell you. He cared for his mother. Oy. His own mother. Who was helpless. Couldn't do a thing for him. On the cross. But there was his mother. Yes. The 19th chapter of St. John. You'll see there. And in verse 25 it says. Now there stood by the cross. Of Jesus his mother. And his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus, therefore, saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, that was John. He saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. And in verse 27, he says to the disciple, Mother, behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her into, onto his own home. In his parting moments, she loved him. He cared about the little children. Amen. Hmm? Amen. You must love children. I, I'm, I'm telling you, it is sad, man. What's happening around in society today? Where are the children? What are they involved in? Why is it that they don't want the church? Huh? We need a revival from the top to the bottom, the, the country, the world, the neighborhoods. Individuals, yes. let me tell you something, friends. Revival starts in people, yes. and we don't have to wait till the revival is announced. Like you can have a week of meeting, you can begin revival in your own soul. This is about us. Stop blaming people. Too much blame game in the world today. And if you look at Mark. You'll see a, a scripture there. We do this all the time in baby blessings. Chapter 10. And verse 13. And they brought young children to, to him. That he should touch them. Amen. Come on church. Touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when, he, when Jesus saw it. He was much displeased. And said unto them. Suffer the little children. To come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. And I'll read another verse. Listen to this one. Where well, I say unto you, whosoever shall receive not the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not let it therein. Except you become a little children. Little children do a whole malice. Little, ch little children, they, they, they fast and hug up and love one another next minute. Example for adults. I tell you, the, the bitterness and the gall that is raging around in the world today. The hatred. Yes. Thank God for the peace of God. Which passes all Amen. understanding. People do understand the peace of God. Amen. They do understand it. You got to have it. Amen. To understand Amen. it. That's the very first word. Was uttered when the, the, the angels announced Jesus' birth. Peace. Goodwill. Toward me. To all men I believe it is. To all men I believe it is. 
to all men. Let me tell you something, friends. There's some suffering in this world today. And all over the world. And it is some here. But that, that's not a drop in the bucket. What people are going through here. As to some other people are going through. What? We couldn't survive that. If Cayman had to live, like some of the other people are living today, they wouldn't survive. No, they couldn't cope with it. They had a little taste of it and I won. But I didn't last long. The day after I won left the church, door, church, church building was full up. That died right off. Let me tell you something, friends. This is something that stays with you. Yeah. There's a woman in this congregation right now who came here to visit this church over 40 years ago. And the first message she heard in this church, she came to this altar and was converted. Amen. She's still here. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Yes, sir. This is something that stays with you. Yes. You've got, you got to keep this yourself. Yes, it is so much, uh, well, I, I can't find a word to say, but pick, picking. Among people today, yeah. you gotta run. Yeah. Pick, picking, pick, picking, pick, picking, pick, picking all the least little stuff. You got it all over the place. Yes, sir. You got it in the workplace. Yeah. People can't stay on a job no more. You got it in schools. Yes. You got it in homes. Yes, <laughs> you got it in churches. Yes. Pick, picking, pick, picking. Some people too vocal. Jesus cared for the unfortunate. Let me tell you, there are many unfortunate people in the world today. Oh, think about it. The blind man on the side of the road, Bartimaeus. And Jesus passed him, but there was a crowd, and he cried out to him. I'm quoting the Bible now. I'm not correctly, but directly, but I'm quoting it to you. The story. The Bible says he took off his old tattered robe to stand before Jesus. And Jesus stopped and said to him, what will you have me to do? He drew Jesus' attention. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, Amen. Let me tell you something, friends. Affluence. If that's what they call it, is having its toll in these islands. Christian got how to get back to humbleness and living for God. What will you have me to do that I might receive my sight? Huh? And Jesus opened his eyes and healed him and he followed him. The crowd tried to shut him up. They were embarrassed. Shut him out. He cried them more. That's the, that's the Bible. I don't have it, the location here. I didn't put that one down. But somewhere in the Bible, Mark, I believe. Yes. Praise the Lord. He cared for the weak people, the weak faith that some people have. You mustn't give up because you're weakened down a little bit. You get some nutrition. Get some spiritual nutrition from this Bible. Amen. And from down on your knees. Yeah. That's right. Spend some more time on the holidays. To commune with God. <laughs> Peter was one of God's uh, Jesus followers, you know. Hmm? Although Peter denied him. Peter didn't lose it altogether. Like Judas did. He got back, yeah. Do you know that Peter walked in the water? Hmm? Peter walked in the water. Same as Jesus. But he, he couldn't take it. His faith weakened down when he saw the sea. 
boisterous or something that it says, I believe. And he began to sink. Huh? Jesus caught him by the hand. Wherefore did his doubt doubt? And lifted him up out of the water from getting drowned. Let me tell you something, friends. Jesus Christ is your friend. The best friend you could ever have. He knows when we're weak too. He knows when we're strong. He knows what our life entails. He knows what we're going at. He knows whether we mean it or do mean it. In this walk with God. We don't fool him. Yes. He cared for those suffering in, with illness. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. And sometimes we don't know what a little touch will do. They were privileged to feel the touch of the master's hand on them. Hmm? This, this is a different one beside the one that was sick for 12 years, I believe this is. Um, Luke 13, and, behold, and verse 11, and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. 18 years. And would bow together. And could in no wise lift up herself. I'm reading the Bible. She couldn't look up. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from that from She never even had to ask. She never even had to ask. What a savior. What a friend. What a mighty God. Let me tell you something, friend. We hear about singing this song. Tell me the story of Jesus. Amen. Let us sing it. Yes. Let us take it in good this Christmas. Yes. Go over and over the story. Yes. Huh? Get some good Christmas carols. Yes. And sing them and listen to them. Yes. Not the bum bum ones. No, I'm sorry. Yes. They're not Christmas carols. Yes. He cared about his church. Hmm? His own church. Huh? Yes. His own church. And if you look into the 17th chapter of John. Which is his, the, Jesus prayer really. It says in verse 20. I'm just reading one or two scriptures here this morning. Neither pray I for these alone. But for them also which shall believe on me. Through thy word. He prayed for those who hadn't come in yet. That they all may be one. As thou, Father, art in me and I in thee. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. People are washing their hands clear of religion. Don't believe in it no more. Because of what goes on in religion. Let me tell you, friends, with regards to what goes on, Christianity is real. Yes, it is. You heard what I'm saying? Yes. Living for God is a real life. Yes. And it got people beat one, the, uh, with one brush, everybody. Yes. And it's wrong the Lord. to do that. He cared about his own life. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Did you know? Did you know that Jesus got up early in the morning? Huh? And went into the garden to pray. Oi. I can't get out of this bed this morning. We get what we walk after. You know what I'm saying? We get what we put forth to get. If you want all there is in this, it's there to have. If you don't want it, you can get it that way. 
like I used to say sometimes, just yeah. young. That's human language. Like a coconut water, bob not like this. Yes, sir. Float in water, dry coconut. We don't want to be dry coconuts floating in the water. Be it. Amen. Jesus got up in the morning and, and prayed and went up in the side of the mountain in the, and all in the garden. You know, the Bible speaks a lot about gardens. Yes. The Garden of Eden was a beautiful place. That's where he placed the first man. A man and a woman. Amen. Jesus, God did it. Yes. Not Brother James. No. Amen. And he did a good job. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes, he did. You cannot improve on what God did. No. Regardless of what takes place in this old world today, you can be a Christian. Yes. Amen. And live it for the Lord. Amen. The darker the world get the brighter our light should shine. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Shine it out. Right on my heart, every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. That there would be an audience like this here this morning, and there's nobody that needs some kind of help from him. Regardless of what it is, if it's something small, he specializes. You might have lost a key. Ask him to help you find it. Huh? I was telling the congregation here yesterday, amen, about Frances Cross, but the same woman that wrote that song a while ago. She, 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 she needed $5 one time, and she didn't have it. And I was talking about five hundred, five dollars, and she got down on her knees and asked God to provide the five dollars for her. And as soon as she got up, somebody knocked on the door Amen. with a five dollar note. You gonna tell me God not real? Amen. He comes into our heart. We give our heart to God. That's what we do. For him to be our master. Amen. The old life don't live no more. Praise the, Lord. Huh? the things we used to do, we don't do them no more. The things we used to say, we don't say them no more. The places we used to go, we don't go no more. Great change since I've been born. Amen. Let us stand. We can sing number 55. From the hymnal. 55. Thou didst leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me. But in Bethlehem, home was the found no room for thy holy nativity. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus. Is there somebody here this morning that would turn away from sin Amen. and serve the Lord? Are there Christians here this morning that need power and strength? Get it. Let us sing. Leave thy throne and thy kingly crown When thou camest to earth for me But in Bethlehem's home Was there found no room For thy holy nativity <coughs> Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus Lord Jesus, there is room heart for Thee. Heaven's arches rang when the angels sang, proclaiming Thy royal degree. But of lowly birth didst thou come to earth, and in greatest 
humility. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for Thee. The fox is found rest, and the birds their nest in the shade of the forest tree. But Thy couch was the sod in the deserts of Galilee oh come to my heart Lord Jesus there is room in my heart for thee before we sing the last verse is there somebody that's finding themselves far away from God? Too far? Get close. Get close, friends. He's your friend. He got everything in store that you need. The Lord is our shepherd. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Huh? He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Verse 4. Thou camest, Lord, with the living word that should set thy people free. But with mocking... Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus. There is room in my heart for Thee. I know the Lord will make a way for me I know the Lord will make a way for me if I live Shame to tell the world I love the Lord. To tell the Lord I love the Lord. For if I'm ashamed of him, he said he'll be. Ashamed of me, ashamed to tell the world I love the Lord. I would like as many as possible to support the little service in each stand on Tuesday night. I know it's not as easy as it used to be because of the traffic situation, but we can't neglect them. Try to make an effort to uh, attend that little service and just to be in this congregation. They would be happy to do, for you to be there. Also, there will be a memorial service here at 4.30 on Wednesday evening, the Lord willing. And then a Wednesday night service will follow after that at 7 o'clock. Thank you. Please also remember the Christmas program tonight at 7 p.m. Um, so thank the Lord for this service, especially for the message, so encouraging. Thank you, each one, for your presence. Um, I'd like to call on Brother Linaki, would you please come to the platform and dismiss us in prayer. Service tonight at 7 p.m.
Amen. Thank God he hears and answers prayer. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we are again so thankful for all your goodness towards us. Lord, we thank you for this service this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the war that has gone across, Lord. We pray and trust that some precious heart has been blessed, Lord. We thank you for Brother James this morning, Lord. We thank you for the strength that you've given him, Lord. We ask that you'll ever keep your mighty hands upon him, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you'll bless this congregation today, Lord, as we dismiss from here, but never from your presence. We ask of your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen.